So if you want to grow your salon's social media following and engagement, it is critical that what you post is really designed to deliver value to the people that you want to reach. I mean, there's a lot of different strategies and tactics out there for how you can make sure that what you post gets in front of more people and how you can have more people follow you based on that. But, you know, none of these things really matters unless what you post is really bringing value consistently to the people that are following you. So in this video, I want to take you through a few different ideas on how you can make sure that what you post is really bringing value to the followers. So sit tight. So if this is the first time we meet, my name is John Halberg and I run this YouTube channel as well as the blog at thesalonbusiness.com and this is where I share the best ideas and strategies for how you can attract more clients to your business and ultimately grow your salon. I share new videos and ideas just like what I'm doing today every week. So if you want to grow your salon business, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. This way you will be notified every time I publish new content on the channel. So it's really easy to fall into the trap of thinking too much about ourselves when we're posting on social media. We're being too self-conscious, thinking, you know, what do I look like when I post this? Or what will this sound like? When what we post should really be about them, not about us. It should be about our clients and the people that we want to reach and how are we providing value for them. Sure, you'll have things that you want to make sure to communicate. You might have a promotion, a new service listed, a new member of staff coming. You know, there might be a lot of things that you actually want to communicate and make sure you communicate. But it's important to really like mix those things up so that it's not only about you, but that you have a healthy mix of providing value, providing value, and then once in a while coming with your promotion and the message that you want to share so that your channel doesn't become only about you but it's really there to serve the people who are following you and when you do this that's when you grow the healthy following and the healthy engagement on your social media channel but how can we make sure then that what we're posting is valuable right it might sound obvious but you know what do we really do um, so this all starts with really understanding your client or understanding the people you're trying to reach. You know, what do they value? Uh, what issues do they think about? What problems do they have? Really making sure that you understand who is on that other side. Who is that person that you're trying to reach? And if you run a salon business, this shouldn't be so difficult for you because most likely you're meeting your clients every day. And um, so just make sure that when you have your conversations with your clients, you know, through the consultation or just through the conversations during the appointment, that you make a mental note when they raise questions, when they turn to you as the beauty expert to ask you about something, you know, make a note about those things. And ideally you write them down somewhere because what you're doing when you're writing that down is that you're building a repository of different ideas that you could be posting about on your social media that obviously is valuable to your clients because they are the ones coming with these type of questions to you, right? And it's their issues that you're, that you're focusing on. It's not about you, it's about them. So make sure you write all those things down because that will be very helpful when you're then sitting down one day and you're going to plan out the content and what you're going to post for the coming, coming month. You know, having that as a source of ideas will be very powerful. And so the way you provide value on social media typically falls into three different buckets. Uh, the first one is inspirational content, the second one is educational content, and the third one is entertaining content. You know, those are typically the three ways that you can provide value over your social media. And running a salon business gives a lot of opportunities to share this type of content. I'm sure you'll agree with me. But, you know, let's walk through those different types of content and, you know, some ideas on what you could be sharing to provide value. So inspirational content. You know, this is what I see salons are doing pretty well already today, especially if you look to salons who are delivering a very visual transformation like, you know, the nail salons and hair salons, because there's just so much opportunity to share inspiration. This could be before and after pictures. Uh, it could be just the end result pictures and just, you know, sharing what you think are relevant right now. It could be seasonal trends and different things that you're creating in the salon. You know, people love this stuff. You know, people really look to you as well for that type of inspiration. You know, that's, you know, you're their expert. You're your client's expert, right? You are the one they're turning to. So this type of content is a great way to inspire your followers and providing value that way. And when you run a salon business, I mean, you have a lot of opportunity to provide also educational content because people turn to you as the beauty expert, right? And if you can deliver value to them through education, I mean, they would love it. And I mean, education is huge. People 
want to spend a lot of time on education. They want to learn the things that you have to tell them. I mean, if you're a tanning expert or a skincare expert or hair expert, nail expert, whatever your profession is, you sit on a wealth of knowledge. And if you can just get that out there, you know, if you can just share that with the people uh, on your social media, that is a beautiful way of delivering value, making you relevant for them, making them see you as the expert, you're building the trust with them. Um, which is a great way to get in front of uh, prospective clients that are out there. They start by learning from you and as they learn, they will eventually most likely, you know, want to book an appointment and have their service done with you as well. Uh, so providing education is a great way of delivering value. And, you know, guess what? <laughs> guess what I'm doing right now? This is uh, education, right? This is education on social media today, but typically some type of business tip and marketing idea for salon owners. Um, so. This is exactly what I'm doing. So if you're still watching this video right now, I guess that the words that are coming out of this mouth is somehow valuable to you or you would have left already. So, um, so you understand the power of education uh, and there's so much opportunity in the salon space to deliver education. You have the people in the salon, you have the actually you have people to show stuff, you know, show it on. You have the products, you have everything there to deliver value through education. So that is a great way to step up your presence on social media. And finally, entertainment. So people, you know, not only want to be educated and, you know, get inspiration. Sometimes they just want to escape the situation they're in. They just want to watch something that is fun or something that is entertaining. So that is another way that you can bring value, uh, making them want to watch your content and to follow your content. Uh, and you know, so this could really be just sharing things that are fun that is happening in the salon. You know, you have a lot of things going on uh, that I'm sure people would find entertaining if you were to post more about. And the best way to use entertainment, I find, is if you can actually embed it as you educate. So rather to you know just educate in a traditional boring way, if you can do something that is makes it a bit more interesting, a bit more lively, a bit more fun, uh, so that you you know educate and entertain. I think it's called edutainment or uh, yeah, something like that. There's a word for that anyway. But if you can do that, uh, that is powerful, you know, because people love that. They learn stuff and at the same time, you know, they enjoy what they watch and it becomes very easy for them to consume your content and want to follow what you do. So entertainment uh, is another third great way to deliver value to your followers. So that is really how you how you bring value how you grow your social media, like the most central part in all this. Again, there's a lot of strategies and tactics you can also use, but I think it all really starts here. You know, you need to make sure that your salon is valuable or the, the channel is. Um, I think I've said that a few times now, so I've, I've hammered in the point, but uh, you know, this is important and mix that up. You know, you, you provide value and then you promote what you want to promote and you have a healthy balance of, you know, the messages that you want to pass to your followers and you can switch between providing entertainment content and education and inspiration. Uh, and that will just make your social channel, wherever that is, if it's on Instagram, if it's on Facebook, if it's on YouTube or whatever channel that you're using, that will be a great way to make sure that you build a sustainable and healthy following um, and will bring you hopefully a lot of success with your social media. So I hope you found this video helpful and um, that you learned something new today that I managed to deliver some type of value to you via this short video clip. Uh, if you did, write yes in the comments box below because um, then I know if I should be producing more of this type of content. And that's it for today. Have a beautiful rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video.